Hello everyone, my name is Shane D. Giovanna, and I've been interested in space for as long as I can remember. At first, I wanted to be an astronaut, but then I realized that I couldn't because of my fragile skin condition called epidermolysis bullosa, where EV, and also the fact that I'm deaf, which I remedy with cochlear implants. So instead, I decided that I wanted to design spacecraft that would be going to other planets. So I'm here today to talk to you about space exploration and why it's essential for the survival of humanity. If you think fragile skin is bad, what about total annihilation? <laughs> the Earth faces threats from three things, the space around it, the Earth itself, and finally, us. From the space around us, we're at risk from comet and asteroid strays, which can decimate hundreds of species and leave a nasty crater. From the Earth itself, we're at risk from supervolcanoes, which can decimate life on entire continents, and different biological plagues, which can also decimate populations. And finally, we're at risk from ourselves. Nuclear weapons and nuclear war have the, have the potential to annihilate us, and that's not even counting other horrific future weapons that we haven't even designed yet. Quite frankly, we're a risk to ourselves. The Earth is just a speck of dust in a vast, uncaring, violent cosmos. Think about how easy it would be for that speck of dust to be destroyed. But wait, I have a solution. We cannot have all of humanity, or rather all of our eggs in one basket. We need to explore and colonize the solar system or face extinction. However, the chemical rockets that we use today are slow and inefficient. They're, qu they're quite frankly not up to the job. However, scientists are working on the next generation of rockets. Ion engines start off slow, but, but gradually they propel you to incredible speeds. And nuclear engines are extremely fast, powerful, and efficient. Using these engines, we could travel to Mars in a matter of weeks. Mars would be the easiest planet for us to colonize because it has an atmosphere that won't actually kill us. Well, it will, but in a less dangerous way. <laughs> it's also the closest planet that's remotely habitable, and we know a lot about it from the dozens of robots we've sent there. Using the engines that I mentioned earlier, we could also explore and colonize the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, such as Enceladus and Europa. These two moons are essentially made of water ice. The water ice there could serve both as a resource for future colonies and also to protect those colonies from the punishing radiation of both gas giants. Another option is to simply excavate the interior of an asteroid, or rather just hollow it out, and create a self-sustaining, independent colony that would be completely free from anything else. <sighs> Using these different types of engines and these different colonies, I hope that one day humanity is distributed across the solar system we're a disaster in one place will not prevent us from reaching our cosmic destiny. Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot live in the cradle forever. Live long and prosper. Thank you.